First, we're going to go to my design center and select line because I am going to scan a butterfly. And it's a picture out of a coloring book. Place your scanner in the machine, your scanning board on the machine. I'm going to press scan. OK. And the machine is going to scan my picture. While it's scanning the picture, it's sending information to the computer. We are through scanning. The computer is still recognizing the design. And now we have the design on the screen. I need to crop this so I can crop out my little green magnets. I say OK. And now I'm going to have some black line in here that I need to erase. I'm going to set, and I have a little eraser right here. I'm going to hit that eraser and select one of the sizes of eraser. I'll select that one. And I'm getting rid of lines that I don't want, even little line specks that are on the page. I can enlarge this to remove additional lines that are not seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can move this around. smaller eraser. I'm also able to clean up some areas. You can see this area right in here, it looks a bit a mess, so I'm going to enlarge that even more. Now I'm going to color my butterfly. I have a panel of colors. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll start with the orange. I select my color, say OK. And I am going to enlarge this a little, and I simply touch the area I want to color. That is so cool. Oops. Back up. There. The next color is going to be sort of a rose color. Oops, I did it again. And then 
a yellow, and I will make his body purple. Oh, I need to color in his pretty little circles. There's my butterfly. I'm going to say next. Preview. There he is, all colored. I layer up my hoop with the uh, background color I want. And in this particular design, I've used a layer of no-show mesh and two layers of cutaway and stitched out my pretty little butterfly.